Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Peter. I, I understand that you have a prototype you want to show me. Yes, it's actually based on some of the work that we're doing about how you visualize um, a session of information you're looking at, but applying it to tabs and tab navigation, especially when you have 20 plus tabs open. Oh, that, that sounds like a very worthy problem to show. Yeah, yeah. And I think the problem has always been tabs are a proxy for the page that you're looking for. So it's this awful game of trying to associate this little bit of text on this tiny little tab for the page that you want. So instead of using tabs as a proxy, why not just use the pages themselves to navigate? Oh, that sounds almost too simple. I know, it's crazy, and I hope no one <laughs> throws a rock at us, but it really can be that simple. Oh, do, do show me what you have. Okay, well, let's take a look here. Um, so this is just a, a sketch, a mock, of a, any generic browser, and I pretended that I've navigated to a site Flickr, let's say. And at the very top, this top bar just represents any browser bar. And as you can see, there's a bunch of tabs that are off screen before the session, and perhaps even some tabs that are off screen after this page that I was looking at. Mm -hmm. So instead of navigating through these tabs and trying to remember where certain pages were, for example, I started this whole session by looking at Google and trying to shop for a camera. So let's just zoom out and see all the pages themselves. So if I zoom out, whether it's a key command or one of the buttons in the interface, like that's the page I was looking at. Mm -hmm. And so, in fact, these are the pages that, these are the other tabs that were open just before I was looking at this. So is there correspondence here between that page and the tab? I'm Absolutely. Seeing? The tabs are awesome when you only have three or four pages to look at, but when we have 20 plus tabs like in this situation, I think we should just zoom out and be able to look at this entire mm -hmm. stream. And as, as you can notice, um, these pages are very much aligned to the Glide methodology that we have, the idea of looking at pages at a particular format so that you can see all their structures. Yeah, you may need to say a few more words about Glide because you and I know it. Okay. For example, I actually have some uh, ideas open. So we've seen CoverFlow and SearchMe, which are awesome. CoverFlow for albums is beautiful because it's about center-weighted images. But structured documents usually have their logo in the upper left-hand corner. And as you can see from here, when it's bottom aligned, like for album covers, we start to cover up the information that makes sense for people. So our basic idea for this almost Venetian blind format of being able to glide back and forth, this linear information document environment, is to actually show the pages that are relevant show pages that are consecutive so that you can compare them, and then be able to see the structured information from side to side. So, for example, the critical information zones, the critical layout and utility zones, are all here. You can completely obscure other parts of the page and you still make out the page. And on that note, there are other ways of obscuring that. You can fade that out or even turn that or you can combine that. Um, oh, I would love to see that now applied to the tab component. Absolutely. So let's go back to this. At the start of this session, if I zoom all the way to the start of the session, I glide back and hey, I was starting with my Google search and I was looking at all these uh, other pages and opening them at different tabs. One of the tabs I opened and the longer I position myself within this environment, it starts to show that particular page. Now when that page centers, the tab also focuses. So that was the tab associated with this. And so each tab is in the same order as each of the images. Um, if I hover over that page, it starts to show me more and more detail about that page. So, wow, that was a really long page I was looking at. In fact, uh, it zooms in even more, so I can actually click into a, a specific part of the page. And if I do, then look what happens. Zooming in and zooming out lets me see all my pages, or zoom back and focus into that tab. And so now I'm back into the particular tab of looking at that page. Mm. I can zoom back out, too. And we can still use tabs. For example, this one's in view. Uh, it was Elin and Peter. It's our blog. So if I click on that tab, click, everything will slide over. And now I'm focused on the part of the stream where these tabs are open. And so these are the three tabs, and these are the three pages. I'm focusing on one. So the tabs are being born uh, in the same way as we always have made new tabs. Absolutely. So we're not saying that it's a new model of what is a tab? It's more about navigating the pages themselves. Tabs are fantastic if you know what's to the left and to the right, mm. what came after, but when it's off screen, 
um, our own ability to process visual information is far more superior. So let's actually deal with the pages themselves, not any proxy. Um, I can even manually move these pages. So if I grab a section of the page right here and slide it over and slide it over and slide it over and as soon as I stop, any sort of pause focuses the pages that are in view. So now this page is associated with this tab. And if that's the page that I want, I click and I'm back and I'm looking at that page. That's actually interesting. Can we go back? Because uh, the order of the images we are seeing here is the order in which the tabs were created or reorganized. Absolutely. So I can actually grab any page and move them to another part of this stream, mm -hmm. and then it would reorder those tabs uh, similarly. In fact, I can click and select and drag and create a marquee around a selection of pages and then move them to another section of this stream, and mm -hmm. then all the tabs would reorganize as well. So you're right. The axis that we have here is the order of the tabs. Okay. Now, um when I'm in a tab, I might be interested in what I did in order to get to that page, which is basically the last time I was at the tab, right? Yes. So, is that also covered in the Glide methodology? Well, that's a whole other level of our methodology, which says this is the tab that associated with each tab is its own history of pages that mm -hmm. we can click through. So, we'll leave that for another day. But okay, okay. This is our tab solution. <laughs> Don't navigate through tabs when they're only proxies for pages. Navigate through the pages themselves. I, th I think it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.